from oneunwrappers.com and in today's video I'm going to be doing the bunnies Halloween room tour. So starting off next to the door we have this little banner that just says Halloween on it and I just have it hung on the wall. I believe I got this from Walmart a couple years ago and below that we just have this little mat that says we're really into Halloween and on top of that I just have the bunnies water dish. Then moving to the right they have their Toki Hut castle and on their castle we just have these two little jack-o-lanterns. These are from Dollar Tree I believe and I just have little tea light candles in them. Obviously they're all battery operated so we have no real fire here. And then into the front entrance of the castle, we have these two battery operated candles and these are from the dollar section at Target. Over in that corner, there is a little toy, but I will show that up in detail a little bit later. Moving over here, we have their other Toki Hut house and this is the house and garage set uh, that we have on our shop. Um, both of these Toki Hut castles and houses we have on our shop. Uh, but we just have two more candles from the Target dollar section here. Uh, we have this little plastic pumpkin and this is from Hobby Lobby a couple years back. Uh, and then we've got their little house and then we have this little garden area. I just have like this little spooky garden and inside the garden, I have a small hide and seek mat by Oxbow. We sell that on our shop. We also sell this little hay corral on our shop from Oxbow as well. On the inside, I have these little ping pong type balls that are in the shape of eyeballs. And then I have this spider web and this spider. This is a new Halloween toy that we have on our shop and it's super adorable and the bunnies have already been eating the spider webs. And there goes Ebony, and she's gonna eat the spider. Or the eyeball, not really sure which. <laughs> um, and then right next to that, we have this pumpkin fling. This was in our fall box. If you guys didn't know, we had a fall box that was kind of like a subscription box, only you didn't have to subscribe to anything. And in the box, we had just had a bunch of fall toys and this pumpkin fling was one of them. It's just balsa wood flavored like pumpkin. That is of course really fun and festive. And then moving to the right here, we have their tunnel haven, which you can find on our shop as well. Um, I just have that underneath their shelf area. Then towards the middle of the room, we have another one of those little plastic pumpkins. And then we have these other plastic jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I don't remember if these are from Walmart or Dollar Tree. I don't know about you guys, but Walmart and Target and Dollar Tree this year have no Halloween stuff, probably because of like everything that happened in the world. There's just like no decorations. So I couldn't really buy anything new this year, but that's okay, I had a lot from other years. Uh, but then we just have their maze haven in the center of the room. I have it in a giant square shape right now. This is a brand new maze haven and Sterling's just inside of it right now, kind of exploring. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> we have another little plastic pumpkin and then down here we have this plastic plate. This is gonna be for their veggies and this is from the dollar store. So going against the other wall, we have this banner that says trick or treat and I just have that hanging on the wall. And then down here, we just have this pink jack-o'-lantern. This is from, I believe, Walmart. Um, and then next to that, we have the Hopper Hideaway, which is the bunny's favorite little hidey house to play in and sleep in. Uh, so I just have that lined up against the wall. On top of that, we have these two jack-o'-lanterns. Again, these are from the dollar store, and then they just have little plastic tea light candles in them from the dollar store as well. Uh, down by this entrance here, we have two cauldrons. 
These, I believe, are from Walmart as well, but they could be from the dollar store. Again, I bought these like three years ago, so I really don't remember. Then on the ground here, we have this chewed up toy. I put this in here like two hours ago thinking they wouldn't chew on it before I filmed, but they did. <laughs> um, this is an Oxbow toy in the shape of an apple, and it's just like, compressed Timothy hay. Um, and I thought apple was kind of festive um, for the fall time, but they ate it and now it doesn't look like an apple. So <laughs> sorry about that, but we do sell those on our shop. Um, and then there's this little, I don't even know what you would call it, a purple spider web thing that I could put like hay or something in, um, but I don't have hay in it right now because I have a bunch of hay in another part of the room, but that is from the dollar store as well. And moving over here, we just have the closet, the trash can, nothing fancy. Uh, but then we just have this window, which I do have these little window clings on it. It just says trick or treat and then some jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, they don't stay on the window very well. As you can see, we're having construction next door. And because of that, the house has been like rattling and shaking and they keep falling off the window. So I don't know how well they'll stick but I could not find any gel clings like at all this year because nothing's in stock. So that was kind of disappointing. So below that window, we just have the hay boxes. These are metal boxes that we sell on our online shop. And uh, I just have three of them down here with hay sticking out of it. And they're litter boxes and they're corner litter box. So yeah, this is just their food area. There isn't anything much over here just because there really isn't anything to decorate, so. <laughs> so then leading up of this ramp, we have the bunny's shelf area. This is where they really love to sleep and hang out during the day. Behind their shelf area, we just have this little cobweb thing hanging from the window. And then I have some window decorations uh, behind the plexiglass that I'll show in detail here. It's just like this little Halloween garland that I got from the dollar store and then some more of these plastic eyeballs. And then we also have some Halloween orange lights and these are from Walmart. And then on the front of the plexiglass, we just have some gel clings. These were the only gel clings I could find out of like five different stores I went to. So I just got two packs of them and used them on you know, the little plexiglass for their shelves. So unfortunately it's nothing super fun, but it's just some jack-o'-lanterns and some spiders and yeah. So up on their shelf area, we just have this Halloween fleece. By the way, almost all the fleece in this video is from Joanne Fabrics, but I don't believe they sell this pattern anymore, unfortunately. But up on their shelf area, we just have this double woven seagrass mat and the bunnies love to chew and dig on fleece, so I like to put little grass mats on top of their fleece so that they don't chew the actual fleece. Uh, most of the time it works, sometimes it doesn't. But then along the sides here, we have these little skeleton like Easter egg type stuff. And I just thought they were cute and little plastic toys. Um, you know, it's totally safe for the bunnies, but um, I just thought it added some more festive looks to it. Over here we have a Timothy cube. These we are hoping to sell on our online shop very soon. They are not on there yet, so I apologize, but keep your eyes open because they should be live very soon. But we just have a little Timothy cube there for them to chew on. Over on this side, we have more of those little skeleton um, eggs, and then we also have this pumpkin fling, the same one that I had on the floor. I just have another one sitting up here. And that's basically it for this area. We do have their willow teepee uh, up here because this is Ebony's favorite hideout. And then I just have a snugabun on the inside for them to sleep in. If you guys didn't know, we do have snugabuns back on our online shop. We have two patterns out currently, but hopefully in the future we will be adding more. So definitely go ahead and grab one if you are interested. There we go. I kind of fixed the pillow, but it was kind of squished there. Uh, but yeah, this, this little area. Over in this corner here, the bunnies can't fit back here. So I just stuck two little uh, candles again from the Target dollar section. Uh, but then this, their little ramp that leads up to the corner shelf area. 
And over here, we just have this little banner that says Happy Halloween. I don't remember where I got this from. It's either Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Target. <laughs> Not sure if that helps, but yes. Uh, then we've got more of those gel clings on the front here. In this corner, we have a little jack-o'-lantern filled with hay. I believe this one is filled with first cut Timothy hay, um, which is coarse Timothy hay on our website. I use rabbit hole hay, which is what we sell on our online shop. So if you guys are interested in the type of hay I use, that's what I use. Um, their main hay boxes have soft Timothy hay in it, which is third crop Timothy hay but then I also use the other types of hay as treat hay. So this is coarse Timothy hay in this jack-o'-lantern. The jack-o'-lantern, again, I believe is from Walmart. Uh, we have these little Easter egg things that are so cute. They're little like jack-o'-lanterns. Um, so I just have them sprawled out all over on this fleece. I don't know how they got the fleece dirty already. There's like crumbs all over it. I don't even know what the crumbs are from. I literally cleaned their room like two hours ago. Don't know how that happened. Uh, we have more of those little skeleton things. And then over here, we have another one of those uh, Halloween toys that we have. This is the fruit balsa spider and then the fruit vines, which are in the shape of spider webs. And they're just so adorable and the bunnies have been eating the spider webs like crazy. They absolutely love them. I just put the spiders in here for the first time today. So I haven't seen if they've eaten them yet because I literally just put them in like two minutes ago. <laughs> um, but I tried the spider webs earlier. They loved them. Uh, so we have another little Timothy cube back here, and then we have another Snugabun. Uh, I just have the yellow side up since I thought that matched better than the fruit side. And then over on this side, we have another jack-o'-lantern. This one has mountain grass in it, um, and then there's just more Easter eggs. And then we have this little new toy, which is a fruit loofah. So this is... Um, a little loofah toy that is fruit flavored. I don't know what flavor this one is. It's probably like strawberry or something like that. Um, and I have two of these in their room right now. They absolutely love them. Um, I'll show you the other one later, but Sterling took it and hid it in his maze haven. So <laughs> yes, uh, so that's just sitting up them there for them to chew on. Um, over here, we do have another jack-o'-lantern and this one just has orchard grass from rabbit hole in it. There's Ebony. <laughs> So this is the other uh, loofah. So you can see Sterling ate most of this part of it. Uh, he hid it inside his little maze haven. So um, yeah, oh, she's gonna go chase that now. They absolutely love all of their fruit flavored toys. So definitely check them out on my online shop. If you guys haven't already, uh, we have these uh, loofahs that like I said, that are brand new. And then we have the spider webs that are only a limited edition. Um, once they're sold out, they're sold out and you can never get them again. So definitely check those out. Um, these were only in the fall box, but if we have any leftover from the fall box, we might list them um, separately, but um, I don't know if we have any extras left. So I will have to check that out. So that's basically it for this year's Halloween room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun decorating and I feel like it's so festive in here now and I'm so excited. Um, fall is finally here, which is my favorite season. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the links down below if you guys want any of the toys that I showed in this video. All of them can be found on my online shop, except for like the Halloween plastic stuff. All of that was um, from like Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, things like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye.